Okay, I swear, this is the most random thing, but I have recently made a vid about uh, Perna, right? I've used him in PvP, him, her, I don't know. Uh, you tell me, yeah? I used him in PvP, I wasn't too impressed, and not because of his skills, but because of the animation speed, right? And then, I decided to do one thing that I haven't done in the Korean server for like a good 3 weeks already. To do some... Uh, what's it called? The last three, three of heroes, right? Because uh, with the mythic weapons come out, I do want to test how they work. So I wanted to prep for this recipe, right? I wanted to get 20 or 40 of these. So I go to the three of heroes raid, right? We go here and look what I see. Perna is the most used monster by far. By far, he is what like Argen is that what, what? Okay, some people will have Argen, some people will have Nadin Ha. So we can kind of combine those two, right? So Argen and Nadin Ha make a total of eighteen percent. Perna is sitting at twenty percent. I was expecting Verde here, Huaki for sure, maybe even Rosario, right? Perna, and then I look at the other rates. Rank one, rank one. Rank 1, rank 1, even in the hero raids, he is rank 2. I didn't even think about him, and look at that, he's very frequently used. The top team, all three people have him. They have a Huaki, they have a Perna, and then some other supports. Kroa, Windy, uh, Ariel, a bit weird, but yeah. Look at that, Perna, 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 this is hero raids. Now we go to 3 of heroes, let's look at the records. Perna, Perna. Perna, Perna, top team, all three have Pernas. What? What? Look at this, Pernas. Uh, it seems like the rest of the... It seems like these three guys, right? Three players. Somehow made Perna work and now everyone is using it. Again, Perna there. Not too many in uh, Naraka, it seems. Yeah, none in here. So I'm thinking, why, why is Perna so used? Like, look at this, Pernas again. And then I looked at the multipliers, right? So we can skill, we, we still can't see even the name. <laughs> we can't see the names, but yeah, basic attack does nothing. This actually is very big. 588 and up to triple damage on 3 mana. So potentially gets close to 1.7, 1.8k if the uh, boss is low, right? And then this actually is really good when you think about it. So 770, right? Ignoring damage mitigation. So for example, for Foggy, right? Uh, you can ignore the defense buff that uh, one of the bosses has because it is ignoring that. Also, defense penetration 50%, that's level one defense break without even needing it. Uh, the thing is, remove immunity. Bosses will not have immunity. So, this should potentially... I think it procs if there is no CC effect, right? And because bosses can only receive a provoke, and that provoke wears out quite fast, they most of the time will not have any CC effects either. And it also applies damage taken up, so... Because the brand is usually only on her, at least from the accessible units, most of the PvE teams actually miss that. So we're gonna try it out, and the way I'm gonna try it out is I'm gonna compare it to Rosario. So Rosario was my main choice. Uh, basically, I run Huaki Argen, and then a third pick, uh, previously it was Karambit, now it was Rosario. But, I built a Perna, we're gonna test it out on the same runes and the same artifact as Rosario. And we'll see how it works. Uh, now the problem is, it's very hard to compare them. So I can try to go into training area for a bit, we'll see if the damage scales there. But the way I'm gonna try to do it is probably compare the Perna's damage to my summoner, because I feel like with Argen it's very unpredictable, since the damage scales based on harmful effects, and maybe one run I will have a lot of harmful effects stacked, and the other one I won't, right? So it's very hard to compare that way. But yeah, I'm gonna do like a 2 minute run, right? 
Okay, so this is what we're gonna test. Uh, Huahi, she will have attack up uh, pretty much 80% of the time. She should have a permanent defense break from the second skill because 18 second cooldown on 20 second uh, defense break. Uh, we have disabled ultimates. Uh, Shushu is only gonna be using her second skill so she doesn't impact the battle at all. And we're gonna run for 2 minutes 20, start now. And yeah, we're gonna be comparing damage, Rosario versus, uh, what's it called, Diperna. We'll see who does more damage, I'm kinda curious. We're doing 220 because Rosario, we're allowing Rosario to cycle a full, four, four times full uh, rage cycle, so 15 seconds to charge, 20 seconds uh, to kill. That means 35 seconds in total for one cycle, four cycles will... Uh, amount a total of 140 seconds, which is 2 minutes 20, right? And we're gonna see who did more damage. Okay, and the 2 minutes 20 are coming to a close. I don't know if you can see it, but we're just a few seconds away. And as soon as the timer hits, the rage ends, we are backing off. And let's see the damage. So, Rosario in 2 minutes 20 against a boss creature did, what, 11, 11 million, just a bit over 11 million, right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the same runes from Rosario to Perna. So, as you can see, this set, right, these are the stats of it. Uh, also, he is getting the same subjugation artifact, which increases damage from bosses. There we go. Okay, so final stats looking like this. 99% crit, so there is less RNG there. Uh, 220 crit damage, just shy of, uh, what's it called? 5,000, 6,000 attack. Now the problem is Soleta will give the crit damage buff to my Huaki, so I want my Huaki to have less attack, that way the Perna gets the crit damage buff from this skill. And we're gonna reset the boss, we're gonna reset the damage meter. And we're gonna start it again, so 3, 2, oh wait, I forgot, I didn't actually put him in. <laughs> okay, and 3, 2, 1, go. And now we'll see how will Perna perform, so, okay, he's gonna shoot his second skill soon. He doesn't seem to be doing a lot of damage so far, you know. Just making sure that everything is there. The runes are there, artifact is there. Full skill ups. Again, he is only awaken 9 and his book level is a little bit lower. But the damage difference shouldn't be that big. So we will see, we'll see. Okay, and again, we just hit the 2 minute mark, uh, it's getting closer to our 220 goal, and whenever the 220 hits, I'm gonna back off and see the damage, so 215, just a couple more seconds, and leave, okay, 5 million damage, now, uh, first of all, keep in mind book level, uh, lower awakening, we can account like Okay, I would say maybe good 5-10% to 10 more damage to that, right? There was also, I think, one rotation where uh, Huahi's def defense break didn't land. So, again, potentially maybe another like 10% increase. Even then, he did less than half of Rosario's damage. So here's the deal. What is the hype behind Perna? She, d she literally did less than my Solada, actually. What is the hype behind him? So, I'm thinking maybe people are using him for the damage taken up more as a, uh, how can we say it, glorified uh, Dark Harpy? What's it called? Hellia, right? Maybe they're using him, her, him, her, I don't know, <laughs> as an upgraded version of that, but even then, I would understand a Nat 4 being used for that, right? But not an F5. And as you can see, everyone is using her. 20% usage in pretty much all dungeons. 
So the only way I can think of doing it again is just trying it out there, right? Trying it out in Marsh, trying it out in Tree of Heroes and see what it's all about. Yeah, in Marsh, uh, what is the usage? 20%, just over 20% again. Here, 20%. In Mitas, 90%. I mean, the first two are a bit easier, so yeah, 90%. Wow, really? Interesting. Okay, so how we're gonna do this? I'm gonna try out one run with Rosario and I'm gonna try out one run with Perna and we'll see which one. Okay, so Rosario run. Um, for Marsh, I am not able to s kill uh, the whole thing in one go. I think I will do like... I think he'll drop to probably like 30 to 40% or something. So we wait for the steal. We activate everything we have. Rosario uses it, Argen does not like using his skills, we love that, we love that, love that, we have two debuffs total, see, that's the main problem, wow, I forgot how to use this, wow, wait, oh, I remember, I always skip the initial phase, which is why I was so confused on what to do, I always skip that phase and I go to straight to uh, purification, like the stone phase, and she did the attack and I died. Wow. Why were there no debuffs? There was defense break and oppression. Did my Argan not land a single debuff with his second skill? Or first skill? And did my Soleta not land a single debuff? What? What was that? What the hell was that? Wait, Argan man! Argan, you're not landing shit! What was that? Oh my god, Argen is a horrible unit. Okay, we skipped the phase at least, we skipped the phase. Now, I am very happy that Rosario is dead, but we will revive him, no what is there. How low did we get? We got to 56%, okay. So he will die. Oh wait, he's gonna permanently die. No, he didn't die permanently, nice. So we're gonna revive him real quick. Well, what happened there? I don't get it. Where are the debuffs? They have high accuracy. These units have high accuracy. Yeah, we don't see the damage meter, but we should see it in the total, hopefully. Okay, land the debuffs. Argen. Argen made. Prove me that you're worthy. Yeah, you failed. Argen, hello! Oh my god, this unit is so worthless. This is the worst unit in the game, I swear. Wow, he was bad. Wow, he was worthless. Okay, so first phase we dropped to 56%. Bro, why? I, I shouldn't be struggling in March at this point. Now, I don't think it counts the total damage. So he did 1.1 mil in this phase. And before he was revived, he did a little bit more, right? Oh, boy. This is... W I am so happy I use a not in high, not in high again. Nardin has AI is just miles better. Miles better. I hate using Guardian. I don't have a Nardin on this account. And I'm happy. No, I'm not happy. Wait, no. I'm not happy. <laughs> I hate this. Argan is useless. Argan is worthless. If you own an Argan, I'm sorry. Especially if you don't own a Nardin Okay. We do it with Perna. We do it with Perna. Last test, we'll see how much we drop. First of all, we're looking for that initial drop. In the first phase, we drop to 56% with Rosario. We do a defense, not defense, attack buff. He lands the... Look at those debuffs. Look at those debuffs. Look at those debuffs. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sold. I'm sold. And he also revives. I forgot he also revives! Oh! Oh! Wait! Clutch! Look at him! Look at the majestic Phoenix! He also... I completely forgot about the revival! So we dropped to 41% because of the second skill debuffs. And he potentially did way more damage with that first skill than with any other, right? Wait, okay, I'm kinda getting sold in this. So Perna is potentially better, right? Oh, look at those debuffs. 
Look at those debuffs. Wait. This is actually clutch. This is actually clutch. No, kill him. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, no, pause. Hold up. Wait, is Pegna actually good? No shot. No, he does good damage, you know? Wait a minute. Nah. Nah. Wait, so how did he do such low damage? Is the damage taken up really that big? Oh, I am so confused now. Wait, no, let me do this again. Let me do this again. Attack buff. Then we stack him. He's gone. Any skills. Any skills. Use any skills. Any skills. Any skills. Argen. 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 Nah, I'm sorry. Nah, I'm not starting this. I'm sorry. Bro. Argen uses. How, how do you play this game? How do you play this game? How do you play this? Why is he such a garbage unit? Why is he so bad? No, change this, change this. We are going for Perna. Argen, man! Hello! You had 10 seconds to use any skill. Any skill. I would have taken an, a skill 2. I would have taken a skill 1. Hell, basic attack. I don't know. Bloody hell. Okay, we buff. Beautiful. Argen. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, you used the skill. I love you. Whoa, look at... Look at... Wait, what the hell is that damage? No shot. And the Perna just the revives, right? Wait. Wait, Perna is actually a game changer. He's alive. He's literally... He just... Okay, now, for me as a PvE enjoyer, that is a must summon. That is a must summon. What was that? It's such a good unit. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to attack. Okay, now attack, now attack. Look at that damn... Hey, nah, wait. <laughs> Hold up! That, that was my personal best two times in a row. I'm I'm sold. I'm sold. What can I say? I'm sold. He is quite literally just a premium hell, yeah. But he's damn good at it because he also has a very useful skill one. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, the, the footage speaks for itself, right? The footage speaks for itself. Yeah. Th that's all I'm gonna say. Hope you enjoyed, and peace.